What is up guys? Welcome back to Rosane TV. It is Adamo here for a quick video for you guys, giving you some breaking news going on at Milan because Andrea Conti has officially signed for the club. Finally, this deal has taken ages in the sense that the agent has been blabbering his mouth. Andrea has been expressing how badly he wanted to join the club and Milan have constantly shown their interest in getting the right back to replace Abate on that right flank. And finally, the deal is done for a reported fee of 25 million euros to Atalanta plus Matteo Pessina in a deal where Andrea will be making just over 2 million euros a season according to Sky Italia. Again, finally the deal has gone through. We can finally have a right back who is reliable going forward, but especially going back. I mean, he's definitely an upgrade over Abate. Thank God. Let me know what you guys think about that deal in the comments down below. What do you think he'll bring to this team? And do you think he will take us to that next level? Because, I mean, he's finally at the club. We can all breathe. Then now we have some real defenders on that back line. Three new defenders with Rodriguez, Musacchio, and Andrea Conti. So let me know, as I said, what you think about those deals in the comments down below. Now some sad news, at least personally for me. Some of you guys might be happy. But Kuchka is officially joining Trab... Trabzonspor, yes. Okay, let's hope I said that right. But anyways, it's a Turkish club, let's just say. And uh, Milan will be getting 6 million euros for the player. And you're probably wondering, Adamo, why would you be you know, sad that Kuchka is leaving? He was inconsistent. Yes, I understand he wasn't the best of players. But I have to admit that I did like Kuchka and the heart he showed for Milan. He was like an upgrade over Poli where he had Grinta, but he was also quite talented despite him being inconsistent. But obviously, I don't expect him to start. But say Cassier or somebody along those lines goes down, who's going to be on the bench giving us that strength? Personally, I want Kuchka to stay just to be a rotational player. Nothing more than that. We're playing the Minnows in the Europa League or low-level teams in the city. I think Kuchka could have done good rotating with the legs of Cassier, bringing that strength in the midfield. But he's gone. It's okay. He's not the most incredible player, so I'm sure Milan will find a way to replace that bench and give that depth because the likes of Bertolacci are most likely going to Genoa on loan, Poli going to Bologna for free, so Milan are going to need some reinforcements on the bench as I've been stressing like crazy. He did confirm his move on Instagram, sitting beside a plane owned by the club. Of course, speaking about Kuchka, and I'm sure a lot of you guys saw that picture of him crying out of, on his way out of Milan. That was very emotional, my boy. You know, just sitting in his car, letting the tears go down. He knows he's leaving the greatest club in Italy. I mean, you can't blame him. You cannot blame him. But anyways, new news. Juventus is chasing this. Julio still, they offered 6 million euros. Milan want 12. Short and snappy. We do not want to negotiate anything lower than 12 million euros. So I'm sure that Juventus will be raising their offer in the coming days, which we will report on on Rossinelli TV. Thank you for watching the video. That has been it. Just a quick snappy video for you guys to give you all the breaking news going on at Milan. Let me know, as per usual, what you think about the deals. Andrea Conti officially signing. Kuchka leaving the club, maybe lacking some depth now in midfield. And possibly De Chilio going to Juventus. Would you want that move to go through? Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe to our content, you can easily do it. It's free. All that jazz. Leave the comments down below, as I said once again. And it's been a dial from Rossinelli TV. And as usual, peace out.